The family hominidae, hominids, great apes. Stay with us to know more about this big family. Hello everyone. This is AWZ. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. The subgroup of primates known as the great apes includes human beings as one of their members. Although we are classified as primates, the other order of primates that are most similar to us are the apes. Because of this, we and all other apes are included in a subgroup of primates known as the hominoids, superfamily hominoidea. The group of apes that we are discussing can be further segmented into great apes and lesser apes. Because of our body's striking resemblance, both genetically and physically, to those of other great apes, we are placed in the subgroup of great apes known as hominids. This subgroup is also known simply as the hominids, family hominidae. The Great Apes The term great ape refers to the great size of these primates. In addition to this, their brains are far larger than those of other primates. The great apes, like like the lesser apes, are most active during the day. Orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans are the four different kinds of great apes that exist in the world. 1. Orangutans Pongo pygmius, also known as the Bornean orangutan, and Pongo abelii, sometimes known as the Sumatran orangutan, are the two species of orangutans that are still alive today. Orangutans are endemic to the tropical jungles of Borneo and Sumatra in Southeast Asia. The following characteristics can be found in orangutans. Significant differences in appearance between the sexes, with male bodies being around twice as large as those of females. Both for bipedal, two-legged, movement on the ground and for quadrupedal, four-legged, movement in the trees, where they spend most of their lives. These adaptations include exceptionally long arms with a shoulder structure that permits them to glide slowly from branch to branch, particularly in young, lighter-bodied orangutans, as well as strong, curved finger and toe bones that enable them to powerfully grab tree branches. A diet consisting primarily of fruit, with some insects for protein and supplementation, long, pointed canine teeth, and long jaws. A solitary lifestyle with only the occasional usage of simple implements like twigs and sticks, with the exception of mating and the birth of young by females. 2. Gorillas There are two subspecies of gorillas that are still around today, the Western Gorilla, which is known scientifically as Gorilla Gorilla, and the Eastern Gorilla, which is known scientifically as Gorilla Beringia. In Western and Central Tropical Africa, gorillas call the deep forests of those regions home. The gorilla is the largest member of the ape species. Their characteristics are as follows. Significant sexual dimorphism, in which the males are approximately twice as large as the bodies of the females. This is because the males are better adapted for climbing trees when they are young and also for quadrupedal, four-legged locomotion on the ground. These adaptations include fingers and toe bones that are long and curved for gripping tree branches and strongly built to support their large body weight, the ability to knuckle walk, in which they support themselves on the knuckles of their hands, and arms and shoulders that allow them to swing from branch to branch, and lighter-bodied, young gorillas. A diet consisting of fruit, leaves, and shoots, long, pointed canine teeth, long jaws, and a gregarious lifestyle consisting of approximately 10 to 20 people. Inhabit settled communities of a manageable size. Gorillas and humans are closely linked. In fact, they share almost 98% of our DNA. Gorillas come in two different varieties, the Eastern Gorilla and the Western Gorilla. These are broken up into a total of four subspecies. Gorillas are indigenous to the East, Central, and Equatorial regions of West Africa. There are several subspecies, and each one lives in a very distinct ecosystem. 
A harem structure refers to the fact that family groups normally consist of one male, many females, and the progeny of both the male and the females. On the other hand, it is known that mountain gorilla groups can contain more than one adult male at a time. Gorillas are herbivores, meaning that they consume primarily grass as well as a few fruits. Mountain gorillas in particular do not consume many fruits, instead relying primarily on the low-calorie flora and bamboo that is unique to their mountainous environment for sustenance. A fun fact is that gorillas are almost 10 times stronger than the typical adult male human. Three, chimpanzees, pan troglodytes. The common chimpanzee, known scientifically as pan troglodytes, and the bonobo, often known as the pygmy chimpanzee, known scientifically as pan paniscus, are the two species of living chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are only found in the woodlands and forests of equatorial Africa's western and central regions. Chimpanzees are the smallest of the great apes and our closest living relatives. They are also the most intelligent of the great apes. Their characteristics are as follows. There is just a minor difference in size between the sexes, with males being somewhat larger than females. Despite the fact that bonobos have a lower incidence of this. Bodies that are designed for both climbing trees and moving around on the ground in a quadrupedal, four-legged fashion. These adaptations include long, curved finger and toe bones that allow them to powerfully grip tree branches, arms and shoulders that enable them to swing from branch to branch, especially in young, lighter-bodied chimpanzees, and knuckle walking, in which they support themselves on the knuckles of their hands. A fruit-based diet with some meat added in for variety. Canine teeth that are long and pointed, as well as jaws that are long. Utilization of various implements, such as sticks, twigs, and stones, on a regular basis. Complex social groups are made up of a scattered community of 10 or more people and up to 100 or more people altogether. This community frequently splits up into smaller forage groups of 3 to 10 people, and the membership of these groups is always shifting. Chimpanzees are even more closely related to humans than people are to chimpanzees. Chimpanzees and humans share approximately 99% of their DNA. There is just one species of chimpanzee, known as the common chimpanzee, however within that species, there are four subspecies. The subspecies are split up based on where they are located, and they are dispersed throughout the entirety of Central Africa, to the north, east, and west of the Congo River. Chimpanzees have a fission fusion social structure, which means they form very large groups that can divide into smaller bands for the sake of traveling and hunting, particularly when there is a scarcity of food. Chimpanzees are highly social animals and have this structure. They operate in a patriarchal fashion and their groupings are highly organized. Chimpanzees are considered to be omnivorous frugivores despite the fact that fruit makes up the majority of their diet. Although it is known that chimpanzees will occasionally consume meat and insects, they will even hunt down smaller mammals, including monkeys, their primary source of nutrition is fruit. It may come as a surprise to learn that the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology has shown that chimpanzees and bonobos are more closely linked to humans than gorillas are. Fun Fact it may come as a surprise to learn that the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology has shown that chimpanzees and bonobos are more closely linked to humans than gorillas are. Four Humans There is only one kind of human that is still alive today, and that is the modern human, or Homo sapiens. There are currently people living in virtually every region of the Earth. The only species of human that is known to exist today is called Homo sapiens, which literally translates to wise man. There is no such thing as a subspecies of humans. 
Around 500,000 years ago, our species became distinct from Homo erectus, the human species to which we are most closely related. Our separation from the other great apes occurred between 5 and 7 million years ago. In spite of the fact that humans began on the African continent, we have done a significant amount of spreading and can now be found all over the world. We are a highly sociable species of monkey that displays an astonishing diversity of intricate social structures and mating systems. These systems range from monogamy to polyandry and include everything in between. Humans, in contrast to the other great apes, are real omnivores and their skulls are constructed in such a way that they can process a wide variety of foods. We have also developed the ability to walk on two legs instead of four, which not only provides better support for our large brains, but also frees up our hands for the use of tools. A fun fact is that there is only one species of big ape that is not in danger of extinction, and that is the human. This is science. What do you think? Drop your opinion on the comment section. This is all for now. Check out other videos on our channel. Enjoy.